Okay. Good day. Okay. Um, today we will be discussing more about the uh, confidence interval for a population mean. Okay. And we will be using the, the normal Z statistic. Okay. And uh, we we will be um, finding out what will be the confidence interval for a specific samples that we will be collecting. For example, I will be collecting a sample mean of, um, let's say, uh, the, the total, uh, let's say, for example, we wanted to, to collect some samples from the population. Okay, so we wanted to estimate the the the, the total uh, uh, we wanted to estimate the sample total the sample mean from the population so we can we collect samples from a given population okay so for example here we wanted to uh, collect from let's say we collected 150 samples. 150 samples this will be the samples samples of males okay. who have bank accounts and uh, you found out that the sample mean for a, okay, for the for a specific uh, this 150 samples their bank accounts has a sample mean of 10,000 pesos, right? Okay, so when we have 150 samples and the standard deviation is 500 pesos, right? So, what we wanted to achieve here is we wanted to, to know uh, the confidence interval for a population mean. Okay, so to do that, uh, since we already have this uh, sample mean and then the standard deviation, we will now get the, um, the, 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 the estimated uh, movement from the sample mean of 10,000 pesos, if it is pesos. Okay. So to do that, um, we will be computing for, a, for the for this uh, estimated confidence interval. Okay. So we will be also including here the 1.96, which is, uh, this is a 95%. Okay. This is a 95% um, confidence. Okay. And also, we, if it is more than 30, 30 samples, then it is also, we will assume here that the, uh, the, the distribution is, um, distribution is normal, okay? Normal Z statistic, okay? If it's more than 30 samples. Since we have 150 samples, it, it, um, it is more than 30. So we will assume here that uh, the, there will be a, there is a normal C statistic, okay? So, the, this is a 95% confidence, uh, confidence, center, uh, confidence, and the Z value for that is 1.96, okay? Right. Okay, we will call this one large sample confidence. And it's, it's equal to 1.96, okay? It's 95%, right? So we will highlight all of those important factors, okay? So now we will compute for the uh, the deviation for the samples. Okay, I also have forgot to mention that this is standard deviation. Uh, it's not a sample standard deviation. Okay, 
has also been given already. Okay. So from this data, okay, from this data with standard deviation, we will get the um, the standard the, the, the confidence inter interval from the sample mean. Okay. So to do that, okay, confidence interval. We will name this one as confidence interval. Okay, so to do that, uh, is, is it equals to um, first the 1.96, okay, and then we multiply, we will, we, will, we multiply it by um, the the total, and the samples will be the the, the standard deviation will be divided with the um, this one will be divided with uh, the, the uh, square root of one hundred fifty. Okay. So what happens? For that to put some interpretation here. So our confidence interval for the um, for the mean of of 150. Okay. So we have the confidence interval of 80. Okay. So now if we compute this one with the uh, 10,000, we only have. Um, just have to add this one here. Just to add this one. Okay. Or we lessen this one. Okay. Or and then we add also this one. Okay. It's the deviation from the sample mean is from and two. So it's from nine thousand hundred nineteen pesos to 10,080 pesos. So that's the um, the confidence interval from the sample mean that we that we have. Okay, and I hope you learned it. I hope you learned something here. Okay, so what we did is we get the confidence interval using this one, it's the large sample confidence, 95 percent, and converted it into a C value of 1.96. Okay. So, um, and then um, E6, E6 is, E6 is 150, okay, and uh, over the, I mean, the E6 is the standard deviation over the total, over the square root of the total samples, okay, so we get 80 pesos, and that 80 pesos, to get the confidence interval, you lessen you, you lessen 80 pesos by 10,000, and then also the other one is you add the 80 pesos. Okay, so it's the confidence interval is from 9,919 pesos to 10,080 pesos. Okay, thank you.